Hi everyone, I'm Liz, Rustic Social Media Manager and former student. I'm Jesse, Global Programs Advisor with Rustic Pathways. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to start choosing a destination. Mm -hmm. So stick around until the end as well because we're going to give you some additional resources that will help you figure out the process. So Jesse, besides Instagram, how do <laughs> students actually start to figure out where they want to go? I mean, you joke because it's a social media manager <laughs> here, but it's actually a really great place to start. We have a ton of photos and videos on all of our social media outlets. We've got Instagram, we've got Facebook, we have a YouTube channel with great videos out there. And we actually have a lot of photos and videos right on our website. So it's a great place to not only see beautiful photos from our professional photographers, but a lot of student uploaded content as well to give from, from their perspective being on the ground. And one of the other things that people really, when they're starting to look at programs and destinations, is thinking how far you want to travel. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips for families that are starting that process? Yeah, absolutely. That can really change the experience. A lot of families come to us with that as being their first uh, question. They're a little bit more comfortable staying closer to home, maybe you're a first-time traveler, especially away from your family. We have programs in Latin America, such as Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, Peru, and Cuba. We actually have a lot of really powerful programs right here in the U.S. So it uh, can be an experience where students get a service or adventure experience right in their own backyards. And you can also go a little bit farther away from home. So you can go to the South Pacific or Asia or Africa if that's what you're looking for. And when I was a student and I was evaluating where I wanted to go and thinking that through, one of the things that I really thought about was the cultural immersion that I wanted to have. So I decided I was really into Chinese culture and history, so I combined programs and spent a month in China where I felt like I really dove into the history and that whole um, concept. So think that through. What level of cultural immersion do you want to have? Is there a culture that you want to learn more about and be really immersed in it? Yeah, so you can kind of pursue your passion. And that's something to also consider when you are going a little bit farther away from home, such as China. You may have specific dietary needs. We can totally accommodate that, whether you're vegetarian or vegan or gluten-free. That's no problem, but it can depend a little bit on the country that you're traveling to. So if you have a severe nut allergy, that's common. That's something we can accommodate in a lot of places. But we may have you steer clear, for example, of Thailand, where there's a lot of nuts in the cuisine. Or Mongolia, for example beautiful destination off the beaten path, but they have a really strong meat diet, so we may have vegans steer clear of that destination. But there's a ton of opportunities, regardless of your dietary restraints or some allergies that you have. That's where the Global Programs Advisor team really comes into play, helping you choose those destinations and talking you through what that looks like. So they're always here to help. Yeah, give us a call anytime. <laughs> so to recap in this video, some of the best ways to evaluate the destination that you want to go to are going to be look at our social media, follow us on Instagram. 100% of those photos are taken by students and rustic staff around the world, so it's a great place to start. Then think through how far you want to travel. What's the distance and what is your family comfortable with? Um, start thinking about the cultural immersion that you want to have and the level of that. And then really think about the diet and allergies that you, know, you might particularly have. Um, and request a catalog. Click the link on the screen and get one of these in the mail soon. Um, it's one of the best ways to see the program destinations in one place with all of the dates that you can travel. So we hope this video was helpful with you picking a travel destination and stay tuned for the rest.